So today seems like a really good day to show you guys my new little studio. So uh, basically, in this new studio, I have back there that is a red head, which is a theater light. On top of it is a red gel. Basically, I'm trying to make this room as creepy as possible. You see, I'm making some spooky content for BBC's The Social. And actually, at the same time, uh, I just uploaded a video recently, uh, or a couple months ago actually, about, about Bigfoot, which was actually really popular. So I'm going to keep making the spooky weird content. And uh, as a result, my studio is starting to look a little spooky too. So as well as the redhead, I keep a camera here on, on a tripod. And this here is a teleprompter. What I do is I use a phone which mirrors the text that I'm going to read onto the teleprompter. And then I read the text straight off this screen, which saves me rambling or having to memorize lines, which can be tricky. So I have these portable video lights, which you can plug in, or you can use a battery as well, which is amazing. So these curtains here, I use for both photography and videography. Now, when I originally bought this setup here, it was a traditional, normal backdrop uh, type bundle that you would buy. And the pole came on two tripods, and then you just screwed it on top. But I, I figured that basically the, the tripod legs that this would basically be on. They took up too much space. So what I did was I got some hooks and screwed them into the ceiling here and then I can leave the pole up without having the tripod legs taking up too much space. If you have any tips for other ways to save space with regards to tripods and things like that, feel free to let me know because uh, they take up so much space. But having said that, I had this genius idea and what I've done is behind this curtain I have more lights. So, uh, soft boxes here, these lights, the video lights, they live back here as well. And, uh, yeah, that's just a really easy way to, uh, store them without having to take the tripods apart constantly and put them back together. It's, it's a bit of a pain doing that, as I'm sure you know. Obviously, directly behind me, I've got this really spooky backdrop that I've been using a lot lately, as there's a very spooky kind of Halloween-y type theme going on here, which might stay for a while, I think, because it's so much fun. It's way too much fun. An added bonus is that these curtains here, which are ruining my shot, they actually turn that window into one huge softbox. So basically, these kind of, they're not really net, they're like sheer curtains. They're like white, see-through kind of things. And basically, that diffuses the sunlight coming in the window and turns it into one big beauty light, which is amazing. So it does the same kind of job as the soft boxes back here. Very handy. So it's a natural soft box that you can get for really cheap by just putting up the right pocket curtains, which is ace. Here's just a little TV that pulls out so I can watch TV on the sofa there, which is awesome. Up here, we have a collection of vintage cameras Super 8, Polaroid, these old school cameras here, I actually got from Hungarian Andy, who was in the last video. These are badass, I need to use these at some point, they're too cool. So obviously here I keep uh, camera bags, uh, drones, motorized sliders, some lenses, a backup camera, loads of different types of lights and stuff, and spare bulbs and all that for all the lights. Paint, in case I want to get creative and funky. Um, teleprompter, monitor, loads of different microphones and stuff, loads of different tripods and things like that. And of course my gimbal down here. Um, over here, we have just a little space where I've got a boom pole here, reflector, a little spooky message. What an excellent day for an exorcism. Oh, and a signed picture from Robert Llewellyn, who plays Crichton in Red Dwarf. That was quite an embarrassing day. I made a bit of a twat myself because I was a little bit nervous meeting him. Down here we have a smoke for which I have bought super, super, super thick smoke to kind of help that spooky vibe, you know? Now as you can see, the floors, I have varnished like almost a black colour so they kind of make it extra creepy. For me personally, I think it gives it a kind of a evil dead kind of vibe when it gets dark. It's really spooky at night time, which is amazing. So yeah, that's my new spooky little studio.
spooky content incoming ASAP.